Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. There are times when we need to copy a file or maybe an executable or even an ISO image of a CD or DVD ROM to our ESX server from a Windows workstation or server. For example, let's say we're installing the HP management agents for ESX. Well, we actually need to copy those agents to our ESX server to run them and install them. Another really common use is if we have ISO images of, let's say, our Windows installation CDs or something like a SQL Server installation CD. We need to copy those to ESX servers so that we can use them in our virtual machines instead of using the actual CD or DVD ROM. To copy a file from Windows to Linux, which is what ESX is, we can use something called SCP or Secure Copy. And a good program to use that is WinSCP. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm at Google. I'm just going to type in download WinSCP. Hit enter. Click on the WinSCP download page. And we can just scroll down and click on installation package for the latest version of WinSCP. And this will download it to the desktop. I've already done this. Here it is. I'll just double click on it to install it. Click run. Click OK for my language, which is English. Click Next to the splash screen. And Next to the license agreement. I can do a typical, typical installation or custom installation. I'll just do Typical. Click Next. Select my interface style. Norton Commander interface is fine. Or I could do more of an Explorer-like interface. Click Next. And Install. It should just take a second to install, and I can Leave this box checked to launch it if I'd like. I'll go ahead and click Finish. And here it is. We're going to type in the host name of the ESX server. We're going to try to copy our file to. So I'll copy it over to ESX01.itdvds.local. Notice it uses port number 22. This is the SSH port. Here's where we're going to specify the username and password we're going to use to copy the files. And if we do use root, root has to be able to SSH to this ESX server. So if you're trying to use root and it's not working, it says access denied, then most likely you don't have or haven't allowed root access. If we're going to use another user, maybe something that we specified like we did in the last movie, then we need to make sure that user is in the right groups so that user has permissions to write files to whatever directory we're trying to write to. So I'm going to go ahead and use root because I have allowed access. Click login. And yeah, notice it gives me this same RSA warning. I'll go ahead and click yes. And it was su successfully logged in. On the left hand side we have our Windows machine and on the right hand side we have ESX. So I'm just gonna go up a directory. That's what these two dots are. You can see where we are right now. We're in this slash root folder. I'll go up a directory and over here you can see exactly where we are we're in C Users Administrator Documents. I'm actually going to go up to Administrator. And I've got a folder on the desktop called Windows 7. If I just drill into here, you can see under a 32-bit folder, I've got a file that's actually an ISO file. This is an ISO image for my Windows 7 installer. So I'm actually going to copy the directory up, though. And the directory will include the file. And over here, I select where I want to copy it to. So I'll just scroll down. And a lot of times, we're going to copy our ISO images to our VM images folder in tools-iso images. Or we may copy them to a shared data store. All we have to do is highlight the file or folder that we want to copy, click and drag it over to the other side, and click Copy. And this is going to copy everything in that folder over to our ESX server. And it can take some time depending on how large the file was. This one was about 2.5 gigs. So it's going to take a few minutes to copy over. Okay, and it successfully copied over. We could drill in and take a look that all the files were copied over. If we wanted to, we could even go to the service console and take a look at it. 
Let's type in esx01.itdvds.local, hit enter. Just go ahead and log in. And we'll just go ahead and browse to the directory that we copied it to. And there it is, Windows 7. So if I just go to it, see there's our 32-bit directory. And there it is. Now this works both ways. So we can actually copy a file from our ESX server to our Windows desktop. And this is handy when we have things like log files that we have to get off to take a look at or possibly send to VMware. For example, let's say if I go all the way back to the root and let me go to the var directory and then the log directory. Let's say for example I need to copy off this esx underscore install log. I can just highlight it, click and drag, click copy, and there it is. It's on my desktop. So if I wanted to take a look at it, I could just right click on it, open with, and generally you want to open things up with WordPad, especially text files that come from a Linux machine. I'll just expand out other programs here. Double click on WordPad. And there it is. So now we could just go through this log, or any other log for that matter, to try to troubleshoot a problem.